Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Today we will do the lab of uh, policy routing in FortiGate Firewall. So policy routing is also known as PBR in our uh, legacy Cisco uh, uh, routing and switching technologies. So what happens in policy routing? We can define our next stop based upon our source IP address. So I will keep this lab as simple. For example, uh, you can see uh, we are having uh, finance users who are in the subnet of uh, 10.24 so with the help of policy routing we can define if users with uh, from mm -hmm. 9 10 are coming okay then we can define their next stop okay we can specifically define the next stop as 30 slash 30 slash 24 similarly we can do manipulation for this stop so basically we do we define the next stop uh, in pbr on the basis of source ip address so similar thing is going to happen in fortigate firewall over here as well uh, i will show you the lab okay before that i will just show you the configuration i am having two internet links okay one is of uh, tata and second one is of uh, geo and i am having uh, uh, users in vlan 20 and vlan 10 who are for which the gateway is configured on the uh, FortiGate firewall. Okay, so then I will just configure the switch. So now we have configured our switch. Okay. I will show you what configuration I have done on the FortiGate. I have created a sub interface for VLAN 10 users and VLAN 20 users. I have configured it as a DHCP server as well. And these are my WAN interfaces. So now I will configure the firewall policy first. So we have created a first firewall policy. If VLAN 10 and 20 users are coming, then they are allowed to use the WAN 1 link, okay, which is the geo internet link. Incoming will be, I think uh, it will not work for VLAN 2 because I have allowed the sub interfaces over here. Right. So, yes. VLAN 10 should be removed. Yeah. We have to create four policies basically. Okay. 
So VLAN 10 and 20 users can use the VAN 1 link, which is this one. Now we will create for VLAN 10 only. VLAN 10. Now it will be for the VAN 2 link. Will be all service will be also all. Okay. Now we are done with the firewall policies because this is a firewall, only policy routing will not work. We have to define the firewall policies so the users can access the both the links. Okay. Now uh, what I'll do, now we will go in our actual policy route configuration. Where is policy route sign? This is policy route. Okay. Incoming traffic will be VLAN 10. Okay. So by default TCMP protocol is running. Okay. If you have watched my video, last video, load balancing will happen. Okay. But I want VLAN 10 users to go from the port 3 link only. Okay. Which is they should utilize this public IP when matting that will happen. And same for VLAN 20, I want all the traffic to go here 20 slash support. Okay. Now I will define the source VLAN 10. Destination will be I will keep all. And so protocol will be all. I want all kind of protocols like TCP, UDP, SAP, keep it as any. And outgoing interface will be VAN. So what is the I gateway for this one? 30.1.1.1. So gateway is 30.1.1.2. Okay. Now if I check on firewall. Used. Okay, so if the user from the 10 VLAN 10 have defined a gateway as 30.1.1.2. Okay, none of them will go via 20.1.1.1. Similarly, I will do it for VLAN 20. Okay, so now the users from 20 will go to this link, O2, diagnose firewall P route list if you want to check, policy routing, so users from 10 will go to 30 which is O3 and users from 170 to 16 will go to 20, it is quite simple guys, now let's generate the traffic. Now, if you check, okay, I will do a ping to global DNS. Okay. 
here. Ping is happening, but this is a VPC6 means a VLAN 10 user. It will go via this link only 30.1.1.1. User is going by 30.1.1.2 only. Okay. From VLAN 10. Now I will check for one of the users in this department. I will stop this ping now. One seventy to sixteen user is using via the twentieth link. Okay, so that's how route manipulation works over here. We just have to define the policy. If you want, you can define a TCP protocol, UDP protocol, SCTP protocol as well. Okay, if you want, you can stop policy routing. You can enable it as well. That's how it works. And 70 to 16 user is going by 20. You can see it will never go by 30 because of this one. Diagonal firewall. We route list because of this one because of this policy. So it was a like a, you can see like here you here you can see the eight counts. Let me check in the GUI if I can check the forward traffic. Nated IP is 20.1. So that's all for this videos, and uh, uh, I will be executing more labs on 40 gate on daily basis now. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.